Do you want the government to have a backdoor into your wallet? Central bank digital currencies could be a digital version of money, a bit like a digital banknote. A central bank digital currency, or CBDC, is a new form of state issued currency. It's kind of like a digital banknote. A CBDC would provoke important questions around the way in which we use our money, but not in the way the government thinks. CBDC can improve financial inclusion. For example, Welfare payment. Instead, CBDCs raise the potential spectre of state surveillance and would redefine the relationship between the government, the bank and the public. For example, food stamp. A UK CBDC would irrevocably change how our money systems work. You'd think that to introduce that there'd have to be some kind of massive benefit that it would bring or a specific problem that it would solve. Unfortunately, that's not the case. A UK CBDC has been called a solution in search of a problem. And would create far more problems than it would solve. By programming CBDC, those money can be precisely targeted for what kind of people can own and what kind of use this money can be utilized. CBDCs can be programmable and traceable. That means that banks and third party providers could shape how the public spends their money. You could think, for example, of giving your children pocket money but programming the money so that it couldn't be used for sweets. Um, there's a whole range of uh, things that money could do, um, programmable money as it's called, which we can't do with the current technology. The key difference in, with the CBDC is that central bank will have absolute control on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that uh, expression of central bank liability. Even with the best of intentions, any level of financial programmability is only a few steps away from serious abuses of power. As of today, a bank or other financial service provider will be able to immediately freeze or suspend an account without a court order. The Canadian truckers lived in a democracy until the Canadian government decided to cut their bank accounts off because it didn't like what they were doing in terms of protesting against the COVID lockdowns. So the thought that governments wouldn't potentially use powers that are technologically available for social goods as the government sees them feels to me a very, very big gamble with our liberties. It's pretty much impossible to issue a CBDC without a digital identity system. That means that UK CBDCs can't be as private as physical cash and transactions could become records of sensitive payment and user identity information. This puts the public at high risk of surveillance and profiling. It also poses a huge security risk. A massive centralised database of the population's personal data would create a treasure trove for cyber hackers to focus their efforts on. Any successful breach will put the entire population at risk. Our shared objective is to ensure that CBDCs will be grounded in long-standing commitments to transparency, the rule of law and sound economic governance. Contrary to what the government have said, CBDCs risk exacerbating financial exclusion rather than promoting inclusion. As society is becoming increasingly digitalised and cash use is declining, we are inching towards a cashless society. Introducing a new UK digital pound could push us further in this direction through practice rather than policy. This would exacerbate financial exclusion exclusion for those who cannot or do not want to use the UK CBDC. People without a smartphone wouldn't be able to use a CBDC, which would exacerbate the digital divide even further. You, you run an organisation that is about sort of civil liberties and, uh, and people's uh, uh, you know, basic freedoms. Um, what on earth, a lot of people might be saying, has that got to do with whether or not you, you've got a digital currency? Big Brother Watch are concerned that a UK CBDC will create the infrastructure for public surveillance and threaten the public's privacy, at its worst, a UK spy coin. And then the question becomes not just who's watching what I do with my money, uh, or it, not even who's controlling what I do with my money, who actually owns my money. So what can you do to challenge this? The government are running an open consultation until the 7th of June. We've written a template for you to respond. If you're worried about a UK CBDC, you can use this to have your say. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.